Hello, Nights You Green Z34 here, and I was trying to figure out how to get my damn phone to work. Um, this is my last review for you guys for uh, after Christmas, and the reason why I am actually choosing this beer to review is I actually got this as a Christmas present, and it looks like a fantastic brew. It could it could be awful, I don't know. This was a gift from my buddy Greg. Uh, very very nice of him to give me this. Uh, Shells Brewery. Um, it has the typical Shells lid. It says August Shells in New Orleans, Minnesota up top. Um, has your typical kind of uh, it's a AS with a deer in it. Um, they have the same guys who make the Deer brand Shells beer. Um, Brewed bottle by the August Shell Brewing Company, New Orleans, Minnesota, 22 fluid ounces. So it's very unusual for Shells to brew a beer of this size. It's a large bottle, very big. Um, and it's called Herman's Brow. I'll let you read that. Okay, and it has kind of a, a Viking kind of guy on a, on a white horse. He's got kind of like wings on his helmet, and he's holding a sword in the air. Um, a, a horse on there, kind of a woodsy background. Actually, pretty beautiful artwork for being a, a locally brewed beer. I really wish I could get you guys some better lighting on this. But um, that's kind of what we got there. It's, it's pretty fantastic looking. Um, government warning right there, typical as usual and so it said um, brewed especially for the 2000th anniversary celebration of Herman's victory, photo courtesy of the Brown County Historical Society New All Minnesota so that is that is kind of maybe the, uh, the background to it, I wish that I wish I could get this to focus better yeah, it doesn't want to focus. But anyway, take take my word for it. That's what it says. Now the color, from what I can tell, it's pretty pretty rough to tell this. It's kind of a red. I mean, that's what it looks to be like a like a reddish color. But it's very hard to tell. Um, I will pour it though. Actually, um, I actually feel entitled to to really take good care on this beer. This looks like a, a good one. I'm excited for it. It could be horrible, like I said, but I'm I'm pretty excited for it. So um, here's my guest gift of a Guinness hat, a new one that isn't so crappy. A little bit of a hiss. Turn it a little bit. All right. So that is open. I'm gonna take a whiff right off the bottle. smells kind of dark and chocolatey actually which is pretty unusual for a Shell's beer I'm getting a chocolate uh, kind of a roasted hops kind of a kind of a kind of a not very floral but it's like a burnt burnt uh, something or another kind of a burnt bitterness will smell I'm not but it is kind of a sweeter, it's like a sweeter milk chocolatey kind of chocolate. It's, it's not as burnt as usual when I talk about something like that. <sighs> smells smells pretty good. Um, let's get the light on this. Let's pour a little bit. Oh, the color is beautiful on this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Didn't pour what the fuck when I poured it there, but... The head is kind of a creaminess, has a has a real creaminess to it. The color of the beer is like a red. Um, it's almost a, a yellowish gold, and it's like a, the color of 1040 motor oil. Like it is, it is a uh, kind of an amber. Maybe amber is the word for it. Uh, amber is a good color for it. Um, There may be a bit of a bit of a citrus note, but it's so so subtle. It's 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 very much less than usual. And I I hate citrus, but it actually doesn't smell too terrible. And this this looks like milkshake creaminess in the head. It's, it's actually really beautiful looking 
had it poured really thick, but that's because I poured it horribly. Um, and as you can see, as it pours out of the bottle, it's kind of a beautiful orangish color. Um, actually, gosh, I'm excited as all can be for this. This sounds like it's going to be a fantastic beer. Um, thanks again, Greg, for, for donating this for a Christmas gift. Um, kind of a longer video this is going to be. Um, hmm. Try to very carefully get this in there. <laughs> Look at that head. That, that is a frothy, frothy head. You can actually, <coughs> excuse me, you can actually see it in the head, the, the bit of an oranginess in the head itself. Um, just look at that. Look at the way that that stands. That that is a tasty looking beer, is it not? That beer looks fantastic. Um, it's very hard to see much about it. Boy, I'm excited as all can be. I wonder how he got this. He said he he had to go somewhere or do something to get it. It's not a typical thing. It's a limited edition thing for sure. Um, commemorative beer. There it is. Every last drop in there. Boy, now look at that. That is a fantastic looking beer. Again, that artwork looks beautiful on that bottle. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this. This is going to be something that, even if it's terrible, I will have enjoyed the experience up to this point. Uh, so, you know, so here, we can find some music to listen to while we are waiting for that head to settle just a little bit. Um, hmm. What do we want to listen to, guys? Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Well, I don't know. I don't know a good song for a background on this music or this year. Oh, here comes a girlfriend. Come on, girlfriend. I see your foot. <laughs> Come on. Come have a look at this beer I just poured. This is what, what uh, Greg gave us. Greg and Jessica. Isn't that cool looking? Yeah. It's kind of like a red color. It smells really kind of nice, too. It smells like a milk chocolate smell. It does. It does, doesn't it? I haven't took a sip of it yet. I was just getting to it, but it poured really kind of thick. I poured it crappy. You want to hold it for a minute? You said three beers. You didn't say how big the beer could be. I tricked her. I said I was going to have three beers. And you've seen the first two. They were normal beers, but this one here is my trick beer. I got like two beers in the price for this one beer. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, it finishes like a chocolate. It is. This is maybe the best tasting chocolate finish I've ever had. It tastes like a like a caramel, like a caramel chocolate, kind of like a a chocolate turtle almost. For me, I mean it. Uh, a little bit of a toffee note maybe. Um, it, it goes down a little bit strong, a little bit uh, bitter when it goes in, but. It finishes off wonderful, mm -hmm. and it's not a real sticky taste. Um, you want? Would you like to take a taste, Brenda? Sure. Actually, really good. Too bad you can't get this every day. I I drink it more often. Not bad. Not bad. It's a. Uh, it's definitely a stronger flavor. Um, and, and I can see carbonation ri rising still to this point, so it's definitely a, a, a decently carbonated beer for being a heavier beer. Usually heavier beers ain't carbonated. Let's look at the... Uh, look at that. See how that oils kind of stick to the side? So it does have some nice nice oils about it. It'll stay up there. So yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a more high-end beer. 
They put some work into this one. They, they see they're still sticking there, just coated to the glass. You, you, you see that? Right there. Very nice. Impressed. Very happy about this beer. Um, toffee, like I said, <clears throat> it has a little bit of an uh, unfiltered waterness to it. It kind of has a Shell's beer. All the Shell's beer kind of has a similar, has something going on in common. It's like a, I'm not sure if it's a hop or a yeast or something that's going on, but it's good. It's not bad. It's just unique. It is, it is something that's unique to Alt Shell's beer, but it's not bad. Um, anything you could denote on that, Brenda? Um, it tastes t uh, chocolate, it toffee, tastes toffee, caramel, caramel, sweety smell. Kind of the same things I've been saying. Okay. Well, um, cheers. Look at that way that flows down there. Has a nice oiliness to it. Just look at the way that that glass. Look at that. It's a very good beer. Very very good beer. Probably probably the best Shell's beer I've ever had. I mean, I do like Shell's beer, <clears throat> but that one is quite possibly the best I've ever had. I do have to very much compliments to the chef on that. Thank you, Greg, for bringing me that. Um, if you can get a hold of this, definitely definitely do. It's very good beer. A very good beer. Um, you know, and this comes after I've been drinking some really light beers, you know, some right light flavored ciders and stuff. So, you know, for me to still not be overpowered by this after drinking those is, is pretty crazy. Uh, definitely enjoy it. So, um, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays for whatever, you know. Um, I really appreciate your guys' support. I am, uh, my, my viewer count is, or my subscriber count is actually going up, and, uh, I really appreciate that. That's, uh, due to you guys being supportive through me, even though my video quality or consistency isn't always there, even though I'm always doing this with my camera. So, um, thanks guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day.